Well, welcome to week four. The Detroit Lions beat the Chicago Bears at home. And that one announcer, I think one announcer, two announcers had picked the Detroit Lions. Michael Strahan of Fox Sports and uh, Herm Edwards for ESPN. That was it. Everybody else went against the Detroit Lions. I was on Twitter talking about how the Detroit Lions, I said this in the first week uh, in the Minnesota video, uh, that we should have scored 44 points. And you got to think about it. This is two teams that were ready to go that were both divisional teams. And we should have blown Minnesota out. And we should have beat um, the, the Cardinals. But what had happened to us is that we lost Reggie Bush, so that changed our game plan, and we didn't have a contingency to play without him in our system. And the very next week, when we played the Redskins, we used Bell, and, uh, you know, now we figured that out. And now, if we lose people, and our ch our team is very interchangeable now. So, you know, I want to give a couple of huge game balls out here. One is to our offensive line. The offensive line held Chicago. I mean, we can stop pass rushes on the Matt Stafford. They give a game ball to Matthew Stafford for uh, quick, precise decisions. I mean, this team took a lot of bull crap over the week talking about how Matthew Stafford is just a fluke and he just flings the ball around, he sidearms, blah, blah, blah. I mean, Matthew Stafford I mean, is a pocket pass quarterback and he gets out of the pocket when he needs to and he throws sidearm or whatever and he gets out of a lot of stuff. I mean, he is a great quarterback. I mean, he's out over a thousand plus yards and there's only other four other quarterbacks in the um, NFL and he has a two to one ratio on touchdowns. So I don't know why people are thinking that Matthew Stafford is this bad quarterback. He's doing a great job. So game ball to him. Game ball to the offensive line, which is doing excellent. I want to throw a game ball out to the defensive line. I mean, Dominican Sue and, and Nick Farley are coming into their own way. They are calling their own plays now. It's just not the defensive coordinators calling their plays. They are recognizing defenses, I mean, offensive lines, and, and they're stunting. I mean, that's how Nick Farley picked up that, that uh, you know, uh, fumble by Cutler and went in for the touchdown. People don't realize that. I think we have one of the top three defensive lines in the NFL right now. Uh, big kudos and game ball to the secondary. Here's the funny thing. All these people are doing these quick reaction re reports about why Chicago lost and saying that uh, Cutler threw four interceptions. He wasn't playing himself. And then Cutler goes on to say that, you know, i got to look at my footwork. No. It's a fact that he has an, an, a rookie offensive line that was getting stunted on by Nick Farley or Nick Farley and Dominican Sue, who are veterans almost, and and they were beating them. They should have got called for a lot more penalties. And we were putting the we put the pass rush on them. And they were forcing him into throwing bad plays because he was hitting dudes in double coverage. So I don't know. There's nothing about his footwork. Our defensive line. The facts are is we pressured them into mistakes. And that's uh, the game ball to our defensive line, game ball to our uh, secondary for doing a great uh, great job there, too, as well. Uh, also, I want to throw a game ball to Jim Swartz for a great, aggressive game plan. Very quick, aggressive, uh, fast tempo, short passes, and, and then counter with the uh, play-action run to Reggie Bush. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, Reggie Bush is coming back. Oh, he's not... You know, he may be soft as far as, like, getting injuries, but once he breaks out into the open, and he has breakaway speed, and he proved that in a 20-yard line or 30-yard line where, he, you know, he hurdled and then accelerated and was in the end zone like that. So he, in second and third levels of defense, he can break away, and we've never had something like that. We had Barry Sanders who could juke and, you know, all that, but he didn't have that breakaway speed that Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush, if he gets past the second layer of defense, he's gone, touchdown. So that's that's a huge ups to us, which you know they gotta focus all their attention on Calvin Johnson, Nate Burleson, uh, not um, no Boyles did a great job today. Huge game ball to Pettigrew. He caught some amazing catches. I've been on him for a while. They should have you know um, the coach and the quarterback believed in him, never gave up, which is huge. I wanted to trade him like right away, but they didn't give up on him like Cleveland gave up on Trent Richardson. I thought that was an amazing 
He caught some amazing balls in some tough situations. Hands were golden today. Big props to him. Big game ball to him. Another huge game ball to special teams. I mean, we have we actually have a deep threat punt return Spurlock or Spurlock. I don't know if I pronounce his name. I'm sorry, Ron, but that guy is deadly. I didn't even know we had him. He's amazing. And so, I mean, all together, the game plan by Jim Schwartz to like come out and attack and keep the pressure on. I mean, they didn't know what to do in Chicago. I think the fact that you know they have an inexperienced offensive line, they had their, they had a defensive tackle that was out, and Jay Cutler is just the type of person that once he gets flustered, he makes huge mistakes and tries to force the ball. And it has nothing to do with um, his footing. It has to do with pressure from our defensive line, which is like 320, 325, a little bit above average and fast. I mean, these guys, I mean, Shu almost got in there. One play almost broke his leg. So uh, great games to these guys. Uh, and um, looking forward to Green Bay next week. I mean, Green Bay had a bye week this week, so they had all week to sit there and watch us, and they had time to rest. So they're going to be rested. We've, I don't think we've ever won in Lambeau, so this is going to be a huge test for us. I mean, our schedule, the Detroit Lions schedule, is like a Super Bowl schedule. I mean, we have nothing but tough ass teams. I mean, for, we got Green Bay, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Dallas. I mean, there's nothing but tough teams every week on our list. So if we come through this, I think we're a true uh, tested NFC North team, and people are sleeping on us, and that's fine. If everybody wants to hate on Detroit, let them go ahead and hate on them. The facts are we have a deadly defensive line. We have the top four two-to-one ratio quarterback in the league passing yards. Our defensive line is incredible. Reggie Bush's breakaway. Calvin Johnson is a threat and, has, and demands double coverage. There's no denying us. So, I mean, all these sports casters and everything, they can say what they want. They just don't know the Detroit Lions. Okay, we'll see you next week. Until next time, boy, peace. I'm out.